So today I wanted to start really hunting for a diamond southeastern ibex because it's the only diamond ibex I'm missing for the Grand Slam multi-mount. And them and Euro hairs are the only diamonds I'm missing in the entire game. So my goal is to hunt the ibex like at the normal lakes they drink at. So like these five. And then whatever we get after that, maybe we get a diamond, maybe we don't. We will just reset to morning and go hunt like red deer and stuff. Because hopefully as we do that, we can run into some Euro hair. I think that'd be more fun than actually just hunting rabbits because I feel like that'd be kind of boring. But I didn't see any ibex higher than three walking up that way. So we'll probably just get the one that's chilling over there. Hopefully. I think that'll work. And if he's just going to stay there, that's definitely not a big seven, but just try to get that too. And we're going to try to get two shots in him because it's kind of far. I think that'll work. Hey, what the? An albino level one. Okay, I didn't even realize these were drinking over here. Again, nothing really interesting other than that, so... I don't know where he's headed. I have an albino... Actually, I think two albinos of these anyway. So, if I were to mess that up, I wouldn't care, but... Looks like we got it. Couple of mouflon coming down here. This lake's got everything right now. But that first Ibex was actually a gold. Decent little 817. Our red deer's right there. And there were actually some mouflon back here. I think I got them spotted as they were fleeing. I didn't see anything all that big. But this guy should probably be a gold. Yeah, actually 830. Not bad at all. So, wow. <laughs> when it's so small, it's a bronze. Decent shot, though. I guess I'll mount that. I don't really know, like, what I would do with it. Maybe we can find somewhere to put it, though. There's a pretty good move on, on that left side there. Got my guns glitched, but I can't spot it. Oh, I had it. He is a five. I don't know what they're doing. Like, all the other ones are drinking here. It's almost like they're stuck back there, but... I'm not really a fan of the frontal angle, especially not with the 30-odd six, so... I guess I'm actually going to put a waypoint on that, because they're in a weird spot. And we'll try to scoot over there and see what the heck they're doing. Okay, so now he's actually moving. And maybe... I mean, that's not a bad angle. If he goes past that rock and is still walking, we can just take that there. He is a mouflon, so... I'm not, like, super worried. I don't know why he flew back like that, but... We'll take those. I mean, it's a level 5 at the lake. I was hoping to find a diamond southeastern at, just not exactly the right species. But, like, there's something messed up. I'm kind of happy that the 5 was moving, because I feel like it didn't just shoot a glitched animal. But... I don't know. Anyway, this dude is actually a diamond. 960. I wouldn't have guessed he'd score that high, because I saw the 57.99 first. I mean, I'll take that. Not going to complain about that. And then... We are headed to this lake. It just feels like there's a really low amount of southeastern ibex on my map right now. Like, I don't know. That last lake we were at had some, but usually there's more, and I don't usually only have, like, four or five at this end. There's usually a bunch up here, so I don't know exactly what's going on. And I was thinking this as I ran down here. You might not even see all five lakes in this video. Like, if I go to a lake and there's nothing, we'll probably just skip it. But I'm planning on going down to that one next. But yeah, that's actually, for some reason, a decent scoring female. And we'll head down there. Hello. We're kind of not to the lake yet, so I think we'd be all right to take that. Nice. I don't know where that second shot hit, but apparently it was better than I thought. But, uh... One of the reasons I really wanted to shoot that is I went to 
the last two lakes, that one and this one, and found nothing. Though I shot three female southeasterns there earlier today, so I think, quite honestly, there was not going to be anything interesting anyway. Because I kind of knew it was at that one. And apparently the second shot actually was nothing. Just the first shot happened to be kind of accidentally really good. So the second shot was enough, but we'll take those. Now, there are actually Ibex here, so that's a plus, because I was starting to think we might have killed our last one. Not that I'm seeing any that are interesting, but maybe hiding around here somewhere. I don't know, I'm only seeing threes, so I think we're just going to kill that one because he's nice and broadside. And probably we'll actually go reset the time and kind of look for other stuff and hope we run into some hairs. But that one's just a silver. Not even really all that close, even though I would swear it looks bigger than the first one we shot. But anyway, we I think I want to go to this lake first, so we'll go down there. And by the way, I was going to do multiplayer and like try to hunt more Ibex, but it's been super crashy for me. So that's why I'm actually in single player and like doing the second half of this with the hairs and stuff. But it also might work out, so I guess we'll see. So that is why I wanted to start here, because I kind of knew rabbits hung out right by this lake. Two level ones and maybe something else. Three level ones are not exactly what I was after, but... You know, take a couple of them and keep moving, I guess. I really don't know, like, enough about where rabbits are. And that's kind of why I wanted to hunt them in the way that, well, the way that we're doing it with other stuff. I'd really love to get a diamond of, like, it's still common, but this color. I like that one the most. But, obviously, two silvers, because level one. So that's kind of a lot of animals that's a seven I think if I'm gonna go for like a neck shot rather than Mosin yeah, if I could not have that female being spotted sweet now there were a bunch over here I think I saw them all and there's one good four yeah that guy so now we're gonna go back to the 30 odd sticks I don't know if I can get that really maybe too far back. Yeah, we'll lose most, if not all, the quick kill. But I think I'm happy to mess up that Mouflon, especially when we already have a diamond, for this shot, because that was actually pretty decent. Just got the left side of the neck, but 835? I believe that's actually the biggest red deer we killed. Dang, wait a minute. He was 57.03 kilos? I would have guessed that would be 5. So he must have been, like, close to 930. And somehow we got 90% quick kill. So we lost, I think, 25. Could have been 920. Wait a minute. I got some... This bit of spinal cord is actually why he died as quickly as he did, I guess. That was a really weird one. Anyway, um, I would go up here, but I don't know... If there's rabbits. And same with this spot. But I do know, like, Rodier will drink here, and there's definitely rabbits there, so I think we'll try that lake. Well, we got the Rodier anyway. I think that's kind of it, but I don't think we've actually shot one yet, so. Can uh, add that to the list of things we've killed now. And he was just a little silver, but uh, close to gold, I guess. So I don't really know where else to go as far as like hunting what we're hunting and still finding rabbits maybe this lake why not I don't really have any clue I mean there actually are rabbits here which surprised me but all of them I think are level ones which is you know a little bit unfortunate but I'm kind of just happy that there's actually rabbits here see if we can get to Probably not. God, that's been close. Well, they're level one, so not really a big deal. 
I can't say I've ever shot one in that animation before, though. Might use that for, like, a thumbnail or something at some point. But anyway, I know Rodeer live down here, and I think some Mouflons, so... We'll probably check around this lake and then end up wrapping this video up. Ooh, that actually is a good Rodeer. Man, sometimes, like, I'll spot a Rodeer and I think it's good. When there's actually a big one, even at 300 whatever we are, 330 meters, it's so obvious right away. I actually kind of thought that was going to be a 3, too, but... I think I probably know what we're ending on. And actually, I have... We killed a diamond Rodeer off Quattro. It's on a live stream, and in the same stream we killed like a 936. This dude, I think, is somewhere like in that realm. So what I might do is actually the Huddle Rodeer multi-mount with those. Like, I don't know where I'd put it yet. But maybe we'll do that? I have to like take a look at the lodge, because then the one thing is like the small plaques. The Rodeer actually are one of the only species that fit them. But we're pretty well in range. We'll have to let our heart rate calm down a little bit. And yeah, he actually definitely looks good. So if we can calm down. Just drop him there. That should be a pretty good way to end, I think. So he is 928. Pretty neat. So we'll send him to the lodge. And although we didn't really get much of anything for Southeasterns, that actually turned into a pretty decent hunt. We actually had good variety in that. So let's head back then and see what we're going to do with stuff. I think for now I'm just going to leave stuff as is and put our new road here just here. And I'll do that pose just so it's different. Like these plaques, road are really the only thing that can go on them. So that kind of works. I just like the idea of the huddle road here. I don't know. Then we got our mouflon that can go on this. And I don't actually know... That's 979, that's the 960. That's 958. I don't know where my 991 got to. Hang on. Oh, he's in the... Alright, he's in with this multi-mount. That kind of scared me. Thought I might have lost that, but... I took that down for the albino grand slam thing and... Never put it back. But, like, I don't know what to do. Like, this entire hallway is kind of Rahunga stuff. I think I'm really going to end up rethinking my trophy lodge. By the way, I killed this the other day. I'm just going to, like, overlay a clip of shooting it right now because I totally forgot about it. But that was actually kind of cool. A mythical melanistic wolf just kind of resting at that lake, which, by the way, is the lake we started today's video at. So that was a thing. But, um, yeah. Somebody recommended maybe combining, I think, Parquet and Quattro, or Hirschfelden and Quattro. I forget which maps, but either way, I'm really considering maybe switching things around again. Especially for the multi-mounts, because I want to do the Huddle Row thing. I want to have probably both of these Fangs Out ones. I don't know. I've done this the last couple of videos. I'm just like starting to rethink what I want to do in my lodge. But anyway, for now, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.